Seventh grade and the start of middle school was a really big year for me in shaping what I wanted to do in life and who I eventually became. My best my best friend at the time introduced me to forming. For those of you who aren't, which I'm guessing most of you aren't because probably most of you had lives when you're in middle school, aren't familiar with forming. Forming is when you like go on discussion boards and create a username and you chat about various topics and it's oh so much fun. So in seventh grade I made my own forum, so random.freeforums.com. I would spend so much time customizing this website and promoting my website and getting members to sign up. It was unhealthy. My site got up to like a hundred members and I thought I was like the most popular kid in school. Like I'm gonna be famous, like my website has a hundred members. And then one night my website crashed during the American Idol finale and I was heartbroken. I had to spend like four hours figuring out how to reboot the site and everything. And it was so frustrating because I was in the seventh grade. I'm like, I'm being hacked, mom, ah. She's like, I don't know what that is, Chris. Eventually, my friend and I, who he had his own forum, decided to, um, like, join forces and make one big powerful forum, uh, and, um, it was called JACR Productions, for, dot, freeforums.com, I think, and, uh, it got, like, 300 members, and, like, oh, snap. So popular. <laughs> so I started to get more interested in technology. I started to learn how to HTML code, to BBC code, um, to create graphics, to customize uh, anything on the web. Uh, so by eighth grade, I was just like really involved in everything internet. So in eighth grade, I left the forming world in the past, because you know, I was just too cool for it. And I decided to code and make my own social networking site. So in eighth grade, I launched my first social networking site that I built, friendfly.ning.com, and it was a ton of fun. You could post videos, you could post statuses, you could post photos, you could customize your page, you could make blogs, you could make events, you could have like group chat sessions, and it was a blast, and I was so proud of it because I like, coded it all myself, and I was in 8th grade, and I was like, look at me, I'm so much smarter than all my friends at school, I'm so cool. And it got 300 members eventually. So I was thinking like, oh man, I'm gonna rival Facebook, me and my 8th grade one person technology team, like, we can do it against thousands of employees, like, we're gonna become so popular. And then I put ads on my site to start to generate revenue, um, and starting to earn money, and then eventually the ads got like a glitch in them and it like shut down the site and I was so upset and then I couldn't get it back and it was heartbreaking at the time of an eighth grader okay after the social networking site YouTube really started to become a thing it was around 2007 and eight which were the main years in which YouTube just started to become like a pop culture phenomenon so I made my first YouTube channel of which I will not disclose the name and my friend and I posted some videos um, like, of us playing Super Smash Brothers? Because people really cared, Chris. People really cared. Uh, a couple weeks later, I would create a new channel with my friend, and we would post all comedy bits, um, news bits. I thought I was entitled enough to make things commenting on politics, because I was really into politics at the time. Um, and I really did enjoy it. I was starting to gain views, gain subscribers, and... YouTube was my life. And let me tell you, that definitely continued on into high school. But if you would like to see any more videos in this Digital U series, feel free to click right here to visit the title page again. Yeah.